The Sonic Movie 2 is here, and the team managed to pull off the impossible, making a genuinely good video game movie. No one thought Sonic the Hedgehog would be a good fit for theaters, especially with his rocky past and also the whole video game movies are terrible idea. That's why the first was a nice surprise. But could that trend continue into the second? The answer is a resounding yes. Promotion for the Sonic Movie 2 built this as what fans have been waiting for, with Tails and Knuckles joining the party. Meanwhile, Eggman returns and tries to get his hands on the Master Emerald. Sonic learns from what happened in his previous encounter, and this new adventure is an explosive sequel that really improves on the original. What makes the Sonic Movie 2 stand out is that the team actually respects the source material. Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles aren't identical to their game counterparts, but they're surprisingly close enough, especially when you realize this is a massive Hollywood production that can easily mess things up. Now, if you want to know what this movie did better than before, we should talk about the humans of the story. Some critics may be mad that the people were brushed to the side in favor of Sonic and friends, but come on. That's a huge W. The human characters aren't necessarily bad? But in a movie titled Sonic the Hedgehog, I think we know what fans want. Who cares about people? When we have hedgehogs, foxes, and echidnas. Now speaking of those animals, the actors who played them did a really good job. Knuckles has this menacing presence, you know. Ah! He means business. Yeah, that's more where that came from. <laughs> now let's begin our quest. What the Sonic Movie 2 also did better is that it felt like the first real adventure in the cinematic franchise. The original was solid, don't get me wrong, but it was also testing the waters. They didn't go too far because they had to set everything up. We got Sonic and Eggman, but not much else. Since the origins were established, now we have time to dive into the real stuff, and boy did it deliver. We got a lot of lore, sometimes overwhelmingly so, but that's how it be with Sonic. Another thing that helped this movie rise to the top is all the references. Whether it be locations or character poses, hardcore fans are going to find a lot to love. It's a reminder that the people behind this movie respect the source material and knew what they were doing. I'm not going to go into big spoilers here, but the action sequences were also phenomenal. Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles each have their own powers, using them in unique ways throughout the movie. When it comes to the final battle, yeah, that was amazing. Obviously though, the Sonic movie movie 2 had some problems. For one, we really didn't need the random pop culture references that are only in there because this is Hollywood. Also, the movie should have been a bit shorter. It's 20 minutes longer than the original, which may seem good, until you realize that time is padded out with unnecessary scenes. There's this whole wedding part that's fun for a minute, but then it just doesn't end. Another potential downside is that you know exactly what you're getting into. There are some plot points you see coming from a a mile away, and the whole thing is super fan y If you're alright with a really predictable but fun story, you'll be entertained. At the end of the day, while this is an okay movie in the grand scheme of things, it's an absolute masterpiece of a video game adaptation. It's what happens when production companies allow time to get things right. When the source material isn't changed too much, fans will be satisfied. Now if this trend continues, we're in a new era not only for Sonic, but for video game movies in general, where they can actually be good. The Sonic Movie 2 is a fun time, so go check it out if you haven't already. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below well, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.